into item 6C, budget adjustment personnel cost. Mr. Chairman uh, and commissioners, prior to giving you a <clears throat> breakdown on this, I would like to impose on Judge Edwards again to come to the podium and give you some historical background on this process from the court standpoint, and then I will go into along with Stephanie the, the uh, agenda item you have. Okay. Judge Ms. Pritchard, uh, thank you. Let, let me give you, Ms. Pritchard asked me this morning to try and address this for you to kind of give you a historical overview of why this um, process has needed to occur. Um, where to begin? <laughs> let me say briefly, the, the uh, Lowndes County, unlike most other counties in the state of Georgia, has used its sheriff's office as the individual, the entity, who collects fines and fees. Now, they collect the fines and fees for the court for all of the cases it's, it handles, not just cases made by the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department. So when I came into office, this process was already in place. Um, so the sheriff was the one who, who accepted those payments, processed those payments, and then the other big part of that job is not just accepting payments, but for any traffic citation under state law, they are under an obligation, the court that is, is under an obligation to report that information to the Department of Driver Services. That's how offenses get on your driving record. Additionally, that information has to be, uh, and sometimes the same information, a DUI for example, has to also go on your criminal history. And the arrest itself shows up automatically when you're fingerprinted and booked in, but the disposition has to be entered also as a process of that court function. In most counties, that's handled by the clerk of court. Lowndes County was an exception to that. And as I told Mr. Pritchard, this was an exception I, was, I had experienced before. When I became municipal court judge for the city of Valdosta, I was there for 10 years, it was the same way. That is, their, their Valdosta Police Department was the acceptor of the fines and fees for the court. But of course, they only had to accept cases and fines and fees for cases made by the police department because that was the exclusive jurisdiction of the municipal court. So here we had a situation where the, the sheriff was the repository of those fines and fees and had staff trained to enter that data, process that data. Now there are deadlines by which you have to report things to the Georgia Crime Information Center. There are deadlines for which you must uh, process and provide information to the Department of Driver Services. Uh, let me give you one small example so you can understand how complex that might be. If, for example, you have merely a speeding ticket, and that, that citation is something that has to be uh, reported to the Department of Driver Services. Not only is there the situation where uh, I get a speeding ticket, I go into the court, I pay that ticket through whoever the entity is, I pay it, they process it, process the payment, and then go into the computer system and report that information electronically to the Department of Driver Services. But of course you have also other scenarios. Maybe I don't show up and pay the ticket. If I do not show up and pay the ticket, then someone on the staff has to report that to the Department of Driver Services because that triggers the suspension of their driver's license for what is known as failure to appear. But it doesn't end there. If I do not pay the ticket on time, but I decide maybe a year or two later I'm now ready to pay my ticket, then I can go in and pay the ticket and that staff is then obligated to accept payment and release to them uh, what is known as a DS-912, which is a form they have to then take to the Georgia State Patrol, pay a reinstatement fee to the Georgia State Patrol after having paid the, paid the ticket, and of course that release has to then been pro be processed as well. But it doesn't end there. Many folks, as you might imagine, who travel on I-75 are not from Lowndes County. They are from all over the United States. And I can tell you because I see the cases in court. Many of those people, if not all of those people, pay their fines electronically. They go on the website that's been created by the Sheriff's Department who entered into a contract with a private agency to be able to make payments online. That, of course, is a tremendous benefit to them and it's a tremendous benefit to the court because trying to see all of those people in court would be truly burdensome. So uh, it, there is a number of layers to that onion, that particular onion, that have to be addressed by staff. Well, when the court made recent changes to the way the, 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 the processing of cases is handled to conform with state law, it became ever more apparent uh, that the sheriff did not want to continue to provide that particular service and no one could blame him. 
Um, the reality is the reason why that change is being made is probably going to be rendered moot very soon because, and I have brought a copy of it, and we'll be glad to provide you a copy, is a pending piece of legislation that provides for the disposition of minor traffic offenses throughout the state of Georgia. These were previously instructions that were handled by what were called traffic violations bureaus, which were set up in some municipalities to process traffic citations. One of the things that this piece of new legislation, which I'm very confident will probably pass, based upon you know, what the current trend in Georgia, one of the things it provides is that the clerk of court will be the one who processes and retains all the information is required to process and report all of that information to the Department of Driver Services. Now it makes, of course, sense on a whole nother level to do that. Because currently we have one traffic citation, for example, not to mention the other kinds of cases we handle, but just one traffic citation, for example, has to be handled by several different entities, the Sheriff's Department, the Clerk of Court, and the Court. Because once the payment is taken and processed, it still has to go through the court system for final filing. And of course, if the person wants to contest the offense, which everyone has the right to do, then of course, that has to be prepared and prepped and given to the uh, Clerk of Court, who has to pull the records, gather the records, and prepare them for court, which means everything has to be assigned a case number in state court just as in every other court. So how we got there uh, is, is, may initially be one thing, but why we would have eventually gotten there is probably going to have been, be by operation of law. Because again, this is very likely to pass by the end of the year, by the end of next year, excuse me, by July of next year. So uh, it probably is in the cards anyway. The, the fortunate thing is, unlike perhaps a few places, and again, we were really in the minority here, I'm not aware of another county that does it the way we do it. I'm sure there may be one, but in my conversations with the Department of Driver Services, they were shocked, their attorneys were shocked to find out you know, that we still process things through the Sheriff's Department. Um, and there, of course, are a number of other reasons, but those are probably the two principal reasons why that is something that's being changed at this time. I think, from my understanding, and Ms. Pritchard can correct me if I'm wrong, this is something the county has attempted in decades past. I mean, I, I don't think this is something brand new to the process. I don't think it, it got done for maybe a variety of reasons. I wasn't here, so I can't really address it. But um, I can tell you that it's something that we certainly needed to do from a standpoint of efficiency. And it is something that we would have probably been, I feel will probably be legally obligated to do by July 1st of next year. Thank you, Jim. Yes, sir. With that, 